Hey guys, so this is like my first video in ages, but today I'm going to be talking about the new Doctor Who episode. As you'll know, I have reviewed all the episodes of the seventh series so far. The series, as normal, takes a break and it's split into two parts. So they had the Christmas special, which was called The Snowmen, and then months later now, we're nearly in April, the eighth episode, or the seventh episode, The Bells of St. John is back. So this episode featured the new companion, Jen Louise Coleman, a little bit more than the normal episodes. This was kind of her first kind of proper episode. The snowman, snowman was a bit different to this one, but this was her first breaking in kind of thing. At the beginning, when I saw her in the first episode in the Asylum of the Daleks, I wasn't that fussed. And the snowman, I didn't, I didn't enjoy the episode as much as a lot of people did, so I kind of had a bit of a, wasn't sure. But I really do like her now. The pawns all the way, I absolutely love Amy and um, Rory. I think they were great and they added so much to the show and it was sad they went, but it was time for something new. And I think Jenna Louise Coleman, Clara Oswin Oswald will be great. So this episode was all to do with Wi-Fi. And I thought that was kind of an interesting kind of plot kind of thing because there isn't very many episodes of Doctor Who where they're looking at something modern. It's normally things that are old or things that are not actually being, you're not able to really relate them to everyday life. Like, for example, The Power of Three with the cubes, you couldn't really relate that to everyday life. So it was interesting to have a plot that was, it was a bit more interesting kind of thing. This also featured Celia Emery who I'm not particularly familiar with, but um, she's really good in it. She honestly acted like she was, she honestly fit in so well. I was really impressed with her performance as well. Overall, I thought this episode was very good. It was really good. I know that sounds a bit wishy-washy, but it was great. It was really easy to watch. It was really easy to get a feel for the show. It kind of was a capture episode. Sometimes you'll have episodes that, they're all the same length kind of thing, but they feel as if, they drag on. This episode flowed, flowed really, really nicely, and I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely, I would give this a 4 out of 5. It wouldn't be the best in the series, because I don't think it was... It was a good plot, but it wasn't like a wow plot, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a really, really good episode. I don't really want to drag this video on, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I cannot wait for the new episodes. They, they look really good. Next week's episode is going to be The Ring of Akkadon. Which I'm excited to watch, it looks great. Um, and then Cold War, and then Hide, and then Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. I'm really excited to see these new episodes because I feel like Doctor Who's been away for absolutely ages. So excited for it to be back. Roll on next week, and I will be reviewing it next week as I have done with all the other episodes. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, comment below and say you liked it. If you didn't, comment below and say you didn't like it, just so I can get a bit of an opinion of what you guys thought of it. Because with Doctor Who, there kind of is a wide variety of thoughts on the episodes due to people maybe watching it longer and people compare it to long series ago. I don't tend to do that. I don't like comparing companions or comparing it back. I actually read something today, I read a newspaper article which said that Billy Piper and David Tennant will be coming in to the show for an episode. Um, I'm not sure which episode it is actually, but I just read they were coming back and I'm kind of like thinking, yes Billy was great, Rose was great, David Tennant was the best doctor, yeah he's great. But I, I really annoys me how people like Freema, Freema and Donna and... Martha, Martha Freeman and Donna are all kind of overlooked if you like because they're all kind of not, they're kind of put on, they put Billy, it, Rose on this kind of level above them I kind of feel because I don't know why and I do think that Donna, Donna was great as was Freema so that annoys me just a little bit but yeah. Thank you for watching this video guys, please leave comments in the below bar and I will see you all next time. Bye!